if you think about ambitious scientific questions of our times, there is, you know, what's the universe made of, uh, what life is all about, and how the brain works. And, you know, AI basically belongs to that third category. Artificial intelligence is a set of techniques that allows machine to do tasks that are normally attributed to animals and humans. The history of this is very personal for me. So I came up with this idea of convolutional net, which was a way of organizing the artificial neurons in a neural net in such a way that they could be applied to things like image recognition. At that time, we didn't realize how much of an impact this could have. But by the mid-90s, you could go to an ATM machine and put the check in the ATM machine, and the ATM machine would read the amount on the check automatically. That was using a convolutional neural net that we developed at Bell Labs. You could think of a convolutional net as composed of very simplified simulated neurons, brain cells, that are connected with each other. And the way this convolutional net works is by adjusting the strength of the connections between those neurons, the same way the brain does it. So this is a real-time demo of object recognition. It's a convolutional neural network, but it runs on a laptop in real time. And 10 times per second, we can tell you what object is in the image. Neuroscientists tell us that a pretty big part of our visual system is actually just devoted to recognizing faces. So facial recognition uh, is a subfield of computer vision, essentially. So it's a particularly interesting problem within computer vision. And it's special because there's nothing that look more like, like each other than two faces. And there are a lot of people that look like each other. So recognizing faces, discriminating faces from each other is, is very, very difficult. We show two faces of the same person, perhaps at different times or different poses or wearing glasses, not glasses, etc. And we tell the system, whatever output you produce, they should be similar for those two images because they are images of the same person. And then we show also pairs of images of different people and we tell the system, produce different outputs for them. And then we can figure out how similar are two objects according to the machine. So we can run lots and lots of images to the machine and then try to lay out are those two images similar or not? If, we, if they are similar, we're going to put them next to each other. And if they are not similar, we're going to put them far away from each other. Here at Facebook AI Research, we publish all our research. We publish most of the code that we write uh, in open source so that uh, we can interact with the rest of the research community to solve this very challenging problem of building intelligent machines or making machines more intelligent. Intelligence is one of the most mysterious uh, things around. That's what makes us uniquely human is intelligence. If we want to understand ourselves, we have to understand what intelligence is all about.